Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Division video. What have you guys today is this week's Vendor Reset. If you guys are new to the channel and not sure how these episodes work, every single week I go over all the vendors and show you guys the best things that are for sale from each vendor. So if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into these vendors. So starting off first, we come to the special blueprints vendor. The one thing you guys want to check out right away is this Navy MP5 and a blueprint. I don't know how long you guys have been following my channel, but ever since I started doing these episodes, I was always, always hoping for uh, this blueprint, and finally, he is selling it. I'm definitely going to buy this, and if you are in need of this blueprint, I would 110% recommend buying this, uh, because you will never know when the next time he is selling it. Also, if you guys need Savage Gloves that are pretty good, I would recommend buying this Firearms Gloves blueprint. You can roll unlimited amount of gloves and hopefully get a god roll pair of Savage Gloves. So like I said, these gloves and this MP5N blueprint are must-buys in my opinion. Coming up next, we come to the special equipment vendor. The one thing you guys want to check out right away is this Police M4. This is more of a PvE assault rifle, but it's really good. It does come with a responsive, ferocious, and commanding. In my opinion, reroll commanding gets something like unforgiving, destructive, uh, competent, even deadly if you want, or adept. And this will be a really good PvE assault rifle. It also comes with 23k base damage and 19% enemy armor damage, which isn't bad at all. Moving a couple spots down, we come to this mask. Now this is a refreshed mask and I would 100% recommend buying this one. Although this is a stamina roll and I do understand not a lot of people like running a ton of stamina, but if you are in need of this mask, uh, this one is a pretty nice roll. What it comes with is all resistance, burn resistance, and 1259 stamina. Now yes, you can reroll this into like firearms or electronics, but the one thing I would recommend getting is probably skill power or uh, critical hit chance as the major attribute. Uh, because, you know, stamina, although it's a little bit useless right now, it might get changed in the future. And you never know, you might need it in a future build. Up next, you guys want to check out this robust chest piece. In my mind, this is a god roll. The only thing you have to do is probably get skill haze if you want. But it also comes with health, 16,100 health, 46% uh, ammo capacity. And it also has 1,261 electronics. And you can definitely use this for like a higher build or anything you want. Although Robust isn't the most popular chest piece, you can go with like Vigorous or Rapid and that will be way better. But if you want this chest piece, it is located once again in the Special Equipment Vendor. Moving to the holsters, we come to this Predator's Mark holster. This is a really really good roll. It comes with 1270 firearms, 1249 stamina, and 1253 electronics. It also has almost 4% critical hit chance, but I would recommend getting rid of that, get something like health or even skill haze. Um, it really depends on what build you're going for. If you're going to use like 4 Predmark, maybe go for something like health because having more health is better. But like I said, it really depends on your build. Now the final thing you guys want to check out is this Pro Red Dot Sight. This is not a god roll or anything like that, but it's really close to being one. It comes with 18% critical hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 6% headshot damage. The one thing it's missing is obviously critical hit chance, but if you want it and if you're in need of this, go ahead and pick it up. As I said, it is located in a terminal. Moving upstairs, we come to the Advanced Weapon Avenger. The one thing you guys want to check out right away is this M45A1. Now, although this is a pistol, this is a really good Dark Zone pistol. If you guys want to get into playing uh, DZ or you play it right now and you need a really nice secondary, this is a great pickup. It does come with Harmful and that's the reason I'm showing you guys because Having a bleed pistol is actually really important in the dark zone. If someone's running away from you, if you want to just kind of annoy someone, uh, this pistol is a great pickup. This is actually the exact same one I use whenever I play the dark zone or even last stand. It's just really fun to use and make people bleed and having them use a med kit. Also, the final thing is this vector. Uh, this is not a you know god roll, but it is a pretty nice PVE submachine gun. It does come with hurried, ferocious, adept, and it also has 19.9k base damage with 19.50% critical hit chance. In my mind, you want to reroll something like Hurried uh, for maybe Responsive, maybe Deadly, or you can definitely get rid of Ferocious if you want to use it for PvP. Get something like Deadly, once again, Responsive, uh, Competent, and this will be a really nice vector. The final person you guys want to visit in the base operations is this Dark Zone Gear Avenger. What he's actually selling is a pretty good prototype performance mod. It is actually a 6% first aid ally heal, now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm not the biggest fan of these mods. I'd rather use something like support station healing um, or healing speed or whatever it's called. I'm not the biggest fan of these, even if I'm using like a medic build. 
I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way, but as I said, if you are in need of this mod, it is located in the Dark Zone Gearvenger. Moving all the way down, we come to Camp Hudson. The one thing you guys want to check out is this converted USC. What it comes with is Hurried, Competent, and Ambusher, and it also has 19% critical hit chance with 22.9k base damage. Now with no means is this the most popular SMG in the game, I don't know why a lot of people don't really like it. I find it pretty good, it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And it's something a little bit different if you guys want to use it with a uh, defense build or just use it with like a Predmark build. This is a nice pickup. I would recommend rerolling Ambusher though. Uh, get something like Responsive, maybe Adept if you want, Deadly or Unforgiving and this will be a nice SMG. The Meat Locker is the next Venger on our list. What he's actually selling is a pretty nice Omega Rifle Suppressor. Uh, this is something I would recommend using on a Sniper or even your Assault Rifles if you want headshot damage. It comes with 17.50% headshot damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 2.50% stability. It's not the best roll, it's not the worst roll. Uh, as I said, if you guys are in need of the suppressor, once again, it is located at the Meat Locker Avenger. Moving straight into the Dark Zone Avengers, the first guy you guys want to visit is located at the East 58th Street checkpoint. Uh, what he's actually selling is a pretty nice specialized backpack. This is a backpack I would recommend using if you want to make something like a hybrid build or something with a little bit more electronics and skill power. What it comes with is 12,216 skill power, 53% ammo capacity with 1,188 stamina, but you have to reroll that, try getting something like firearms or electronics, it really depends on what you need. And besides that, this is a great purchase. Moving one spot down, we come to the Park Avenue Venger. What he's actually selling is a pretty good enhanced ACR. What it comes with is capable, responsive, and competent. As you guys can see, the talents are really good. It also comes with 22% enemy armor damage and 22.3k base damage, which isn't bad at all. The one thing I would recommend is get rid of capable, get something like adept or deadly, and this will be a really nice PvP or PvE assault rifle. Moving all the way down, we come to the 5th Avenue Venger. The two things you guys want to check out is this holster and this mod. First of all, this holster is really nice. What it comes with is 1160 firearms, 1272 stamina, and 1266 electronics. And it also comes with skill haze, which you guys can keep. It's maxed out. Or you can go with something like health, but I would recommend getting rid of the firearms roll and get it a little bit higher. Also, this prototype stamina mod is a great pickup. What it comes with is 249 stamina and 3% skill haze. If you guys are making something like a hybrid build or uh, something with a little bit more skill haze and you want more health on, uh, this is a great mod. I wouldn't personally use it because stamina is a little bit useless, but you never really know when you're going to need it, so I would buy it and just keep it in your stash. The final vendor you guys want to check out is located at the West 39th Street checkpoint. What he's actually selling is another mod now, this is a prototype stamina mod once again, but this one does come with skill power instead of skill haze. So right there, you guys have a choice between like skill haze or skill power. Whatever you need, you can purchase both these mods if you want, or you can purchase one of them and use it for your build. Anyways, that is pretty much it for the video. As I said, this was a very, very good Avenger reset, at least in my opinion, because the blueprint was really, really good, and that's something I've been looking for ever. Also, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.